Bitcoin is currently up about 50% of the fourth quarter and the question is, can it go any higher? Because in recent weeks, the cryptocurrencies and blockchain world has seen some key events expected to change the structure of that market, such as central banks investigating potential digital currencies based on blockchain technologies. Now, amongst these central banks are the Bank of Canada, the Reserve Bank of Australia, as well as the European Central Bank. In addition, IBM announcing that the Bank of Thailand, the central bank, has launched the world's very first blockchain-based platform for government savings bonds. And then PayPal launching a new service enabling users to buy, hold, and sell cryptocurrency, enabling cryptocurrency as a funding source for its 26 million merchants. As a consequence, Bitcoin is trading at its highest level since January 2018, after prices gained 50% this quarter since early October. Now, from a technical point of view, Bitcoin's daily technical indicators are overbought with the daily relative strength index at 85%. That's the highest level since the summer of 2019's top but not posting any bearish reversal yet. As this technical situation is risky, a tight invalidation level is required. Since the definition of the bullish trend is higher highs and higher lows, a meaningful invalidation level is standing at the previous swing low at 15,000. As a consequence, traders may consider long positions above that figure, targeting a limited advance towards 2018's top area at 16,900, and even towards the 2017 weekly close top, 17,550. Alternatively, a break below 15,000 will look for a consolidation towards 38.2% and 50% retracement of the bullish movement in place since September, respectively at 14,000 and 13,200.